Next up, we have Wayne Vincent. And again, for context, Wayne is the general manager of virtual events at Innovaya Productions. Innovaya is based in Dallas, Texas, and a global provider of live meeting and event production, creative services, and on-site management, transforming ideas into dynamic events. So Wayne, I'll leave it up to you. Thank you, Max. I appreciate every year having me here and uh, everyone taking an hour with us today. It's, it's wonderful. Appreciate it. So we were a, a live event company, and I say were, we're going to be back to a live event company, hopefully pretty soon, as Jess was mentioning. Uh, we're all hoping to get back into the live event, but we, you know, we, we went from being a 10-year-old uh, live event company focused, you know, event, wherever our clients were. Our clients typically are pharma, uh, life sciences, financial, and association business, and we needed to make a pivot. We needed to get to a product or get to a service that we could offer our clients that would allow them to hold their meetings um, that they were typically holding in person. So, you know, those meetings typically are anything from a 30 person meeting up to a 10 or 12,000 person meeting. So we sort of cover the gamut there from, from size. Um, we had a couple of criteria when we went into this one, we wanted to have some, we wanted to look at utilizing the best of breed technology. We wanted to find some things out there that would allow us to easily uh, and scalably handle all of our meetings. And Meeting Pulse was one of the things, one of the, actually one of the first tools we settled on. So uh, beyond Meeting Pulse, you know, we're, we're an Amazon Web Services group. Uh, we're using Vimeo for our CDN. And what we wanted to do was find a way to utilize those tools to give the clients for the attendees a single sign-on. So they had one place to go, one site. They didn't have to bop around from different sites to get the different functionality. Something that would allow them to have all of the standard meeting items, such as breakouts, general sessions, exhibits, sponsorships, all of the different items that would be involved in a convention, even social and networking events. And so that's kind of what we set aside, set out to do. So let me go ahead and do a quick um, share here and I will do a quick demo for everybody and take you through. So this is our demo site. This is our Zen event platform. Um, up at the top, we have our navigation on our landing page here. And all this is custom branded for every event. Um, we have in this, in this example, we have some sponsors. We have our agenda of what events are going on, and then we have our presenters. And this, this site, by the way, is just a, a sampling of what we do. There's actually a whole bunch of other features. The menu actually goes to two or three lines long of all the different features we have, but we just condense it down for, for our, our demo site. So I'm going to hop over to our agenda, um, and we're going to go right to today. And I'm going to show you a couple of ways that we use Meeting Pulse in our events. So I'm going to open up one of our items here. This is a representative of, of our stream. So this would either be a live stream, a simulive, or a video on demand. And then over to the right, we would have our Meeting Pulse. Um, and as just mentioned, our, our clients love the different features and functionality. We will have different um, features turned on for each session. So we may have in a given day for an event, we may have 30 to 50 of these sessions running, each one with a differently configured meeting pulse. So some want chat, some want Q&A, polls, some want pulse, some want different, different um, emojis in the pulse. That's what's wonder one of the wonderful features is the ability to really customize this very easily and very quickly. Um, down below, we also have our agenda for the items for the, this. We have our speakers, um, we have all our social media and all their connections, and then we'd have any files and attachments. So it gives you a really nice, simple place for the clients to, to go and have their meeting. We also have our interactive sessions, which allow us basically to run similar to this session here where we actually can share cameras, share our desktops, and this runs, we do these interactive sessions for about 200 people and we can at a time, and we have that partner to, over here with Meeting Pulse with the same tools. We do a lot of these so we can do a live session as a, a live stream for say a general session, and then everyone can break out into their various uh, breakout sessions. Um, another thing that we do with Meeting Pulse is a little different is we use it in what we call our chat lounge. 
So on the left side, you have your standard meeting pulse. And again, we just limited it to the chat. And then on the right side, you would have a list of all of the people that are currently in the chat. So you can talk with them via text on the left. If there's somebody you want to connect with, you click on their name here on the right, you hit the invite, and they receive a pop up on their screen saying that I've invited them to a meeting. If they accept, we're moved into an, again, within the browser, but we moved over into a video conference um, using a different technology called Dolby IO that allows us to spin up hundreds of these individual video conferences. And um, this is a very popular way for people to get together during a conference, during a, con a convention, uh, to connect with people they haven't seen in a while and have those one-off conversations. So this is a, a great uh, tool with the, with the two different technologies complementing each other really well. Um, we also use Meeting Pulse in our exhibit space. So here's an example of one of our exhibit halls. I'm just going to go into one of our booths. And you can see here at the top of the booth, we have, they can have their own videos that they can play. They have their social connections. They have the information about the booth. As we scroll down, we get to see um, our list of the booth staff. And then one of the nice tools here that we have is we're utilizing Meeting Pulse for interactive polling within the booth. But what we're doing through the API is we're actually able to adjust the poll on the fly so the exhibitor can adjust the poll so we may have an exhibit hall where we have a hundred different exhibitors each one can adjust their own polls individually within their booth and all they have to do is i can just change this answer to not yet sure and if i save this now everyone will now see that new poll um, and they would give them the ability to do up to five polls in the booth Obviously, we can go higher than that based on meeting pulse. It's just that's what we found works really well uh, for our exhibitors. And then below that, we also have the ability to do live sessions within the exhibit hall. Um, again, utilizing the same technology we use in the meeting space for the interactive sessions. And then we have the ability to schedule one on one meetings uh, as well using yet another technology. So um, we're kind of not technology agnostic because we we want to we want to get the best of breed in each area but then we pull all of that together into one platform um one of the parts that we do night from a gamification perspective is we have our passport game so each exhibit can build out their own passport question in this case i'll say that we're in the event industry if i submit and save the answer correctly i can go see which passports i've collected and we can use this for raffles and drawings. We also do leaderboards and all of the, we even do game shows and things using our interactive sessions uh, with Jeopardy style, Family Feud. Uh, we had a name of that tune recently uh, as well. Pretty much anything that you can think of. We had a, one couple of weeks ago, we had a cooking demonstration session. Pretty much anything that you can imagine doing in a live event, you can do within the Zen event platform. Um, and then we also have the ability to have Internally within it, we have e-posters, scientific abstracts, um, the ability to integrate out to other applications like Snapbar for photo booths and things. Um, so really, our goal was to keep the client in one platform, single sign-on, and then utilize all of the different tools out there uh, via API control, which one of the things that Meeting Pulse is, in, in our experience, the, has been the best at. Uh, we didn't find anything else out there that had that API control ability that uh, Meeting Pulse had. Um, so if there's anybody who has any questions or anything, or wants to get in contact later, feel free to reach out at, at either zenevent.com or innoviapro.com. And I really appreciate your time today. Thank you, Wayne. That was incredible. Great example of gamification, but also leveraging our API, which is one of the more unique features we have 